Hello everyone, it's Brett here, Lionheart84, and I thought as I'm very limited in the type and quantity of videos I can make at the moment while I'm uh, recuperating, I thought I'd do a quick tasting on um, on a fig that I just picked up at the corner shop. Um, I think it's probably Turkish run corner shop it might be uh, another eastern european but i think it i think it's a turkish run shop so they do get these figs in sometimes and i happen to uh, stagger past and uh, see some quite nice looking figs on the front i've no idea what variety it is as you can see it's quite a large wide fig it's a good sort of um probably two, two and a half inches across, but it's a quite a flattened fig, which seems to be quite common to those areas. So, um, it seemed to be a nice color. Um, I wouldn't say it's soft, but it's not hard like the ones that the supermarkets often get, which have been picked incredibly unripe. So I'm kind of hoping it might be edible. And I thought it's a nice easy video to do because I can sit down in comfort and not strain myself at all. So I thought we'll just see if we can manage to cut it in half with a knife with one hand. And then I'll flip the camera around and we'll uh, just taste it and see uh, see what it actually tastes like. Let's see if we can get through it cleanly. Hopefully it won't have any uh, maggots or worms in it, which is a slight downside of these figs imported from uh, warmer climates we don't really seem to suffer from many maggots or uh, in our figs here but it looks okay to me that slight discoloration in the middle is just a sign of uh, extra ripeness it's a nice color as you can see as in is common most of the red skins dark red skin figs tend to have a red flesh inside um, and it looks like it's going to be fairly ripe so uh, I'll uh, flip the camera around and we'll have a look together. Okay, so welcome back to the second part of the video. We're going to try this uh, unknown variety of, probably is a Mediterranean imported Turkish fig, certainly in the Turkish shop. Perhaps I should have looked on the box, they might have told me more information, but I forgot because I didn't know I was going to make a tasting video. Let's see what this is like. Yeah, it's quite pleasant. I don't think it compares with, it's crunchy, it's the seeds are crunchy in it, which might mean it's a pollinated uh, fig. If it's a main crop fig that requires the pollinator wasp, then it's been pollinated. Not as sweet, perhaps. Not as sweet as I was expecting. Um, not that juicy. It's pleasant. Can't even remember how much it was now. I think it was 79 pence. But a nice enough fig, but it doesn't compare with one I've had a peak ripeness off my own uh, fig tree. But as I'm bored at the moment, while well, I'm sitting at home all the time recuperating, Thought it'd be fun to uh, buy a couple because I fancied, fancied eating one myself and make the most of it and do a video as well. Now it's a bit darker on the other side so we just make sure it hasn't got a, a worm or maggot in it. I mean it looked right but it's probably just starting to uh, probably just starting to go off so I'll cut that little bit out. There's no point eating the stuff that's uh, potentially going to go bad. Don't want to be making myself ill, I'm supposed to be getting better. Check your fruits guys and girls. Pleasant but not the same as having them in the Mediterranean or buying your own, growing your own. Definitely even a brown turkey is better than that when it's fully ripe. Anyway, thought might be of interest thanks for watching please give me a thumbs up 
Um, obviously share the video if you like, subscribe to my channel and remember to click on the bell if you'd like to know when new videos come out. Catch up with you all soon. Brett out for now.